Hey guys and happy Thursday. We are now on day four of the Brindleton Bays collab. We are now halfway through. This is the middle point. Today um, we have this collab with myself and Irrelevant Sims. I'm doing the exterior as you can see here and she'll be doing the interior. So make sure you check her out. There will be links everywhere so description in the video there's going to be links everywhere um and also we have devon bumpkin putting up his video today as well so make sure you check him out as well if you ha don't know him already which i'm sure you probably do but i'm also going to be linking everyone else that is part of the collab that is simlissy pineapple gavin sims uh freezer bunny they are all going to be linked as well because they're amazing and you need to see all of their builds i've seen them all in our group chat and oh, they're just glorious but today i'm bringing you brent and brant's new house oh, me and Arelli locked out on this lot choice so much. We assigned lots just based on, um, I think the first live stream that the Sims team did, they went on the world map view and <laughs> Arelli took a screenshot of the, <laughs> of the live stream. And because we already agreed we were gonna do the world, this whole collab before that stream, she was like, I've got a world map. So we literally put together a spreadsheet, guessing the lot sizes and everything. We did all of that and we picked our lots that we were going to tackle based on that without knowing what was really there. So we lucked out and we got Brent and Brant. Brent and Brant. That's it. I always want to remove the N from the Ant one. But anyway, Brent and Brant. Um and so i kind of had this whole story going i'm pretty sure brent and brant must be everybody's favorite townies maybe in this new world surprisingly we actually only got three new families to visit three new families in this there's the promising vet lady i don't even know what her name is i haven't gone into that lot yet actually there is brent and brant and then there is Crazy Cat Lady. I think there's the, there's only three towny households in this. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going they are gonna be everyone's favorite. They're my favorite anyway. And uh, I so we ha I had this whole story as soon as I found out we had their house. I said to Aurelia, I was just like, I've got this story going. I really feel like they've got their cute little um, Frenchy Rosie but they basically are planning on adopting so this here is like the renovation on their house so that they can be accepted for adopting a child and we said twins as well i don't know why i just said in my mind they are they are adopting twins that is it and we just both agreed it was such a cute story so this is their new home including cute 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 places for their future adopted kids to sleep and just everything oh so cute this is too cute um whoever came up with brent and brant just thumbs up on the first uh gay couple townies they have just done so well but can i just slight confession right so i did a live stream where i just did gameplay over on twitch and i was like yeah you know i haven't being a builder lots of times new expansion packs come out and i don't even get the chance to play with them so i made an excuse to live stream let's just do some gameplay cats and dogs haven't played it yet i think it was like a week after it came out as well still hadn't been able to play it just built like crazy in it 
So I did a live stream, I took my sim self over to Brindleton Bay, cheated my way into, what was it, my Newport Beach house, that's a whole nother story, and gave myself a Boston Terrier, super cute, called her Lola after my bunny that gets no love because she's by herself, but anyway. Um, <laughs> and then we went to, where did we go to? Is it, it's not a restaurant, is it, on the um, Whiskerman's Wharf? Is it a bar? You know, like the kind of, kind of like crab shacky place. Yeah, we went there and I was just outside, you know, walking my dog. And then Brant comes along with his beefcakey self and um, starts flirting with my sim self. And I was like, right, well, we just discovered something about him, didn't we? Mm. Brant is bisexual. Just going to let you know, just in case you were wondering. Yeah, he wanted us. So I was like, well, this stream has taken a turn. He flirted with us. We liked it. That was it. So the whole stream was me trying to snag Brant <laughs> from Brent. <laughs> and in case you don't know what um, Brant's traits are, one of them would be good which means it is not easy to make a good sim cheat on their spouse. So we, you know, visited them at their, what will be their old home, not this one, their old one. And yeah, so I became friends with Brandt and was just like, yeah, you're moving in with me. Stole Brandt plus the Frenchie Rosie. Cause uh, I'm sorry. I only did it for the dog, really. Um, stole him, still married, even moved into our house. He still didn't want to cheat on Brent. Still, still faithful because he's a good sim. We had to put all of those plum bob lights, you know, those ones that you can make your sims flirty with, I had to put those everywhere. And every time I tried to flirt with him, nope, didn't like it. But we got him to flirt with us. Wahey. Well, sorted went to the lighthouse lot um brent was there i was like oh my god something's gonna go down we convinced brent to leave brent and didn't realize but brent was right there next to us saw everything the whole hashtags squirrely things coming out of him he was peed off and so brent left him went to the lighthouse tried for a baby I was pregnant my bump was kind of large and I was like mm -hmm, this is suspect suspect here I had MC command center installed clicked on me looked at the pregnancy and I was pregnant with twins a boy and a girl that's how my gameplay goes down <laughs> I don't know what possessed me. I'm not normally a home wrecker at all in my games. My games are normally like the perfect family. Oh, a single sim. Then she finds a boyfriend. The first boyfriend she ever has, she marries. And then she has like the perfect two kids. I don't know what came over me, but yeah. So just put it out there. Just look out for it. Brant may try and flirt with you, okay? Pretty sure he's bisexual. So. But anyway, he is literally ripped. Can we just say pixel first? I don't normally say this. It's not normally my thing, but the guy is like buff. Whoever made him in Cass had a real good time doing it because it's just ridiculous. He is like chiseled, chiseled from the gods. Anyway, let's talk about the whole pixel first thing. Let's get back to this build. So this is in the kind of traditional Hamptons-esque styley. Made sure to put, um, I'm pretty sure I put all shingles on the outside. Or did I? Can't remember. Really can't remember. But it was based on a house that I saw on Pinterest. Uh, maybe a couple of them. Kind of like I saw um, this house that had kind of like this sunroom at the front. So this is the back of the house, by the way. But at the front, there's another sunroom that looks the same as this. 
I saw that and then I saw steps going up in front of the sunroom and that is literally what this whole entire house was <laughs> built off. I'm just for some reason fascinated at the moment about gardens on multiple levels. So you will see like the foundation there that that wall encloses, that is all gonna look like it is grass and so it's another level of the front garden and I think it works out really, really well in this one. And also my favorite thing, I can't say it's my favorite thing in the whole pack, that would be really bad of me. One of my favorite things is that debug wall, it's gorgeous, that I have trimmed the foundation with. It's it's beautiful. If we could have that as a as a in-game fence that you could just draw along. But now like there's there used to be loads of debug. There's quite a f I don't know if they're in debug, but I've had a few mods that are like liberated world items and there's a garden fence that is amazing. It's like a picket fence. But of course it only comes in panels. They they you can't draw them like uh, like a wall or a normal fence in game they're just panels and you piece them together but with the downsize tool now you can just take those and downsize them if they're too if they're like too long just downsize it works brilliantly oh, yay anyway we're on to this little like p p would it be classes of pagoda not too sure this of course another thing i saw a kind of domed roof like this on Pinterest. This house is basically all of the lovely things I saw on Pinterest, just me trying to blend 10 different ideas into one house. That is my main problem when I'm building. I'm like, oh, this looks nice. Oh, this looks nice. And it's the whole editing process. That's probably why it takes me so long to build. But the whole editing process, I just Actually, I love that. I love the whole editing process. And in this house, because we have gone CC free, before I built this, I took the time to go through the debug menu and find all this amazing stuff. Look at all this stuff I'm getting out. It is so cool. Who knew we had magazines in the debug menu? I think that's spa day maybe to go. Yeah, amazing. I'm going to use those all the time. Um, headphones. Look, you've got a cassette. We're going a bit old school here. I don't still have a cassette. No, I don't still, but headphones that you can put on there. And there's even a mobile phone. I was just like, yes. So I had a field day with all of the debug items in this build. You will find them dotted all around. I've had to cut this video down so much because I went clutter and finishing touches crazy. So like there's a barbecue on the outside and I put I think a baking tray next to it or well there's a few kitchen cabinets with a sink and I put like a baking tray on top of them and my favourite thing of this whole house that's really really stupid but I put a doormat at the front or on the front porch I put a doormat in front of the door and I put a parcel there on the doormat and I put letters like the post has just come and there's letters on the doorstep and there's a parcel and there's also a wrapped present it's the same present that your dog would find from a bush you know your dogs in the game now can like go out and find stuff for you it's what they would bring back and it's as decor on the doormat and that's my favorite thing from the whole build never mind all the gut like landscaping i did the vines everything all these bricks no my favorite thing is finding those in debug and look at them <gasps> there they are that's my favorite thing of the whole thing i got rid of the debug ones because those are bills so i got these city living um decor ones so they're fan mail basically brent and brant have fan mail that's my favorite thing in the whole build i'm sorry really really stupid <laughs> but we all have silly things as our favorite bits but that's that's my new discovery the debug menu i really should have looked in there before and tried to 
find something else that is usable but yeah i'm loving all of the decor things the only thing is it just takes forever some things you can search for them in the debug menu and they appear some things don't have a name so that's a little bit annoying um i know like you can search apple but for example in this i think um i use watermelons so i don't think those are labeled in the menu i'm not too sure but anyway yeah more landscaping literally the thing that me and Arelli discussed before this was i just said to her this building is going to be dripping in flowers like the window boxes they're made up of like three different types of window box and then sorry the thing had paused then it totally threw me off i thought no i could have cut this video even shorter i'd forgotten about that pause it's obviously talking away on twitter or something um yeah so what was i saying yeah i said the place is going to be dripping in plants so window boxes everywhere three different types of windows boxes used just under one window and the whole raised bit uh, is another high point of this build i just love everything to be quite honest I'm not gonna lie kind of like what i did and you're gonna love what air elephant did inside of it as well i've seen it and it's just like perfection you just oh, i can't stop it i just love building in the sims oh if i could just do this every single day and not have to do my regular day job that would just be perfect thank you it's just such a dream but i i just love it and this greenhouse as well and i do something that I, uh, another thing i saw on pinterest was raised flower beds and i'm like do you know what i never do that in the sims but you know if they're raised they're not going to be usable i don't think your sims can just kind of lean over a foundation and a half wall you see me doing them here i don't think they can lean over them so these raised beds are purely decorative uh, they don't actually have any proper produce in them or anything, but um, I made them to look like they're just wooden planters, raised beds. If I could have like railway sleepers would have been perfect for this. But um, I put in there all these plants and that tile, not that tile, that flooring that looks like dirt is just, it is comes in so handy on so many builds recently um that i've been doing foundations and making them look like they're not really foundations so these are perfect i do get rid of these ones i'm putting in because they're just like a copy of those because i then found that there's lettuce um and like watermelons and pumpkins which I completely forgot about. So I do end up putting in pumpkins, watermelons and lettuce on this. Now I do know that when you place this build, please have move objects on because otherwise lots of stuff is going to disappear and you'll be very sad. But I do know one of the things that does disappear, move objects on or not, is the lettuce and the watermelons. For some reason, no matter what, they always disappear. I don't know if they set certain items in the debug to disappear but anyway we have reached the fly through thank you so so much for watching link to irrelevance part of this collab and also um we also have aiden devon bumpkin video up today as well so go check them all out and i will see you all next time bye guys